Ten years ago, I was working as a doctor in Sudan. One day, a young child came in, very sick, with pneumonia, breathing fast, barely conscious. We gave the child antibiotics, we gave the child oxygen, but we only had enough oxygen to treat one patient at a time. Over the next few days, the child got sicker, but other children came in also needing oxygen, so we shared it around. Unfortunately, this child died, and at the time, I was frustrated and angry, thinking that maybe things would have been different with better oxygen. We fast forward to 2014. I joined a new project in Nigeria where we had the big vision of making oxygen available to every child who needed it. Since then, we've seen oxygen access improve significantly, we've seen lives saved, and we've answered some important research questions. We've found that low oxygen levels are common, not just in pneumonia, but many other conditions. We've found that giving nurses pulse oximeters so that they can measure oxygen levels is really the key to improving how oxygen is used and saving lives. We've also translated some of this learning into policies that will have much bigger impact in Nigeria and maybe even beyond. But there's still a lot of work to be done and I continue to be driven by that same frustration. Frustration but also hope that one day no child will die because they lack access to a basic medical therapy like oxygen.